my uh, speculation for today that Brian flew back on August 17th and August 23rd for a temporary separation from Gabby and once he's found, he's going to claim self-defense. Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel, my name is Taiping. Today I'm going to speculate on the Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry case. I haven't brought this up before. I have an Etsy shop. I sell my handmade products in my Etsy shop. Um, I will put the link in the description below to my Etsy shop. Uh, the reason I'm bringing it up is because when my hands are busy, my mind is usually far away um, somewhere about the matters in the nation or in the uh, uh, world. Um, so, I usually either watch court TV, listening to audio books, or watching YouTube videos while I'm by my sewing machine. So, in recent weeks, Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry case is everywhere. Probably everybody knows almost um, all the things about this case is that Brian Laundry and Gabby Petito started a road trip across the country and um, Gabby Petito ended up dead while Brian Laundry drove her van back in to Florida uh, without Gabby Petito. And then there is also a fight be between them on August 12th and the Utah police um, determined that Gabby Petito was the primary aggressor. There was no information uh, on what they were doing after that between August 13th and August 17th. But there has been a rumor that between August 17th and August 23rd, Brian Laundry flew back home. Why? Uh, we don't know. So, but the, this rumor has been confirmed. Brian Laundry's sister, Cassie Laundry, um, confirmed confirmed that Brian Laundrie flew back between August 17th and August 23rd. So here is a video of her mentioning that. Do you know if your, what date your brother flew back that your dad paid for the plane? Didn't even know he paid for the plane. Did he fly back? Yes, yeah, he flew back. Like around like what, the 17th or something? Put it into their house. Around like the 17th or something? Yeah, after the fight? He got here on the 17th. I don't know what day he left. Did you see him at that on that trip? Yes. Yeah. What was discussed? Anything? Was he discussed yeah, about? They were talking. He was telling me where they were going next. I FaceTimed with Gabby and the kids on that trip. And then, I mean, Did he say he got in a fight with Gabby? Yeah, no. he, didn't, he didn't talk about that incident. I just was surprised to us. Too. Yeah. We we're unfortunately in the dark as much as everybody else, and. More what was so. your what was your brother like when he was um, in middle school and a teenager? What was he I like? I didn't live in the house at the time. Has he ever been violent with you? No. Never violent been with anybody? With brother. I mean, me and my sister went I, at it. She pulled my hair, <laughs> kicked me in my eye. We're, we're eight or nine years apart. We're not. Yeah, you're you're old. Yeah. He's um. not like my. We were little together, brother. I mean, I was. But you guys house. lived in the house at Wabasso. Everybody lived there. No, my parents lived in New York. Oh, they lived in New York. You and lived in New York. Yeah. They we were remodeling out. And then Brian and Gabby came there. They, when they moved down to Florida, they moved in with us to get on their feet. How did they Five meet? High school. High, High school. school. So that's uh, the first time the sister confirmed Brian flew back on August 17th. She said that she doesn't know why he returned but his attorney actually confirmed that he returned on august 23rd and uh, here is the attorney's statement bertolino issued a statement saying brian flew home to tampa from uh, slc that's the name of the airport on august 17th and returned, returned to slc on august 23rd to rejoin Gabby. To my knowledge, Brian and Gabby paid for the flights as they were sharing expenses. Brian flew home to obtain some items and empty uh, and close the storage unit to save money as they contemplated extending the road trip. 
So to me, his attorney confirmed the dates, but I don't believe what he said that、uh, he flew back to obtain a few items. I mean, with an air ticket, you can buy as many items as you you need for the road trip. Why you flew back to obtain、um, a few items? That's exactly what I um um. Speculate. I speculate.、Um, after the August twelfth fight, Brian and、uh, Gabby worked on their relationship together, but、um, somehow they didn't make much progress. So Brian called his parents and told what happened. They had a fight.、Um, uh, Gabby was the determined by the police as the primary aggressor. Uh, he was the victim.、Um, so once、um, his parents heard that, they went into a rage toward、uh, Gabby, I believe, and they said, "Oh boy,、uh, you can't be uh, uh, victimized by her.、Um, come home、uh, for a separation, at least for a temporary separation." That's what Brian did. I think he flew home for a temporary separation from Gabby because they 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 believed. And they felt Gabby is the abuser and the aggressor, and they are the victim,、uh, which I do not agree with the police determined determination be, because they determined that based on surface scratches,、um, that's less、uh, important in a domestic violence than who controlled the communicating tool. That's the cell phone. Brian didn't have a cell phone. That's、um, Gabby's cell phone. Once he controls that cell phone, not only he made、uh, Gabby upset,、um, but also Gabby can't call his her parents or call police or anything. Communication to a cell phone is so important, and he also can、uh, do anything, delete her stuff, and do anything to it. And then she depends on it. She's a Blogger, she depends on it. She has a lot of videos problem on it. She doesn't want him mess around with that. But、um, he he took her、uh, cell phone. That's that's a major、um, factor to consider who is the primary aggressor or who is the abuser in the relationship. The other factor is Brian controls the van. He can、um, shut、uh, Gabby out. Their home at any moment if he wants to. That's another huge factor. That's was that was not considered into into the determination of who is a abuser in the relationship. That's why when they started to、uh, to talk about arresting、uh, Gabby, Gabby broke down and they felt it's not the right thing to do it. But they didn't go further. Why? Brian has scratches by Gabby, but they don't. They don't feel it's a right thing to arrest Gabby. They didn't look further for the answer why it didn't feel right to arrest Gabby. It didn't feel right because they used the, the Utah、um, legislature's rule to determine the primary aggressor, but they didn't look at other factors, either major factors like who controlled the communication tool. Who controlled、um, their home? Who controlled the transportation? Who can drive away at any time? Who can use that as a weapon and roll over the other party? That's the main aggressor. That's the main abuser, not the one that can make a few surface scratches on somebody. So that's the the、um, my. Opinion on the police、um, treatment of the affair. So after that, then they had a temporary separation that that's、uh, executed by Brian. And then、um, after a week of separation,、uh, either Brian feel he's ready to move on with Gabby, or Gabby、um, accepted that. She was the primary aggressor, and she apologized and is ready to accept Brian. And they they are going to move on. And then when Brian joined Gabby, they did move on for two days, a couple of days. And unfortunately, on August twenty seven, something happened in the restaurant when they were、uh, eating, and then Brian was aggressive. According to other customers, toward their staff there, and、uh, Gabby was upset, and then went inside to apologize after Brian left. 
And I think that's what uh, uh, the prelude to what happened later. It's uh, either Brian confronted Gabby and complaining, you are not on my side. They had bad service, you are not on my side. It's so embarrassing, so we need to separate. We need, to, we are done. And then that's how upset uh, somehow Gabby didn't take that well. They become to fight and then it end up uh, Brian shot Gabby. That's what I thought. Uh, Gabby was shot, but uh, no cause of uh, homicide, no cause of death has been uh, reported by the coroner office yet. Oh, oh, the other way, Gabby was complaining to Brian after that, that uh, they served the food. How can you be so mean to them uh, while um, in front of me, while I was there with you? Um, you were so mean to them. It's so embarrassing. And Brian didn't take that well. They started to fight and somehow um, Brian ended up shot, shot, ended up shooting uh, Gabby. So my speculation is once Brian is found, he's going to claim self-defense and he's going to use the August 12th incident as his supporting evidence because he said this is a pattern. Uh, Gabby is the primary aggressor and I killed her out of uh, self-defense. First uh, for the potato's parents is this, is that Brian is going to blame everything on Gabby and he's going to label Gabby as the primary aggressor using the police determination and uh, he's going to claim self-defense and then that's um, obvious I think that's what he's going to do because you can base that on his parents attitude because his parents completely ignored Gabby Petito's parents, they think their, their son um, is right. They believed, believed everything their son told them. I believe their son probably told them they had a fight and uh, Gabby Petito was trying to attack him and he uh, did kill her out of self-defense. Or at the best, he probably told them that they had a fight, they decided they broke up and Gabby gave her van to him. That's unbelievable. Nobody will believe that. When a relationship ends, everything is so messy. Nobody is going to to give her van to, to the other party if you break up with me. And then they always end up in the court asking their things back, not the other way. I give this to you when we broke up. So <laughs> I think it's because Brian told his parents he did it out of self-defense. That's why the parents are not even helping the uh, Gabby's parents. So that's my uh, speculation for today that Brian flew back on August 17th and August 23rd for a temporary separation from Gabby. And once he's found, he's going to claim self-defense. Um, let's see if the story will end up proving me wrong or right. Okay, that's it for today. And uh, if you have different speculation, comments, any comments, please leave it down below in the comments section. And see you next time.